here I'm going to share to you how to download the ISO installer file so first step is go to your Google Chrome in your PC then type um, Windows Server 2016 now you can see here the Windows Server Microsoft Evaluation Center so click that one then scroll down to select the Windows Server 2016 then click ISO and continue so we're going to type our first name then last name um, company name and also the company size so select one and the job title so here you can choose between database administrator or architect developer or engineer IT or technical manager other IT professionals, researcher, and system administrator. Now, we are going to select system administrator. Then, also our email address. And then, the phone number. So, after the phone number, we are going to select our country. So, here going to select Philippines now after doing all of that um, click continue so now we're going to select our language your prepare language so here is English and then download so here the Windows server is downloading then we're going to wait until it finish and after that, you can see here the Windows Server that is downloaded. Now copy and then select your prepared files, then paste it. So here as you can see now the downloaded Windows Server 2016. How to install virtual back? Go to browser, then we are going to search VirtualBox. Then click the first link. And this is the VirtualBox 6.1. In here, just click Window Host. Start the new link. Then click Show in Folder. Then click Virtual Box. Then cut. In here, we are going to use Task Materials and Paste. Click virtual box and open. Do you want to run this? Run. Preparation of installation and this is the installation. Click next. This is custom setup. We are going to use browse. Click virtual box. Then click local disk. Then we are going to select installation. Folder name installation. Click OK. Click next. And this is the custom setup. We are going to choose this op option. Click next. Click yes. Click install. 
So now we are going to wait until it's full installation. So the installation is fully done. Click finish. So as you can see, this is the look of virtual box. Um so now open your virtual box. Then here click new. Um, type your operating system name so Windows Server 2016 select your version then click next create then VID then next so click next then here create then after that Go to settings. Then here as you can see the general and other. So go to storage. Click empty. Then click the this here and click here. So now go to the file you create a while ago. Then click the Windows Server 2016. Open. Click OK. Now, you can start. So here, um, select your language, so English, then click next, then now finally click install now. So we're going to wait until it finishes installing. So here in the operating system, you can just um, Windows Server. So here we're going to choose Windows Server 2016, um, Standard Evolution, then Desktop Experience. So click Next. So here's the um, license term. Click I Accept, then Next. So choose the type of installation so click custom then here click next so the windows is starting to install
so it will going to restart in a second So here you can see now this one. So type your prepaid password. Then um, re enter your password you created. And click finish. So here, to unlock, go to input, um, click keyboard, then click this. So, um, type the password you create a while ago, then click. So that's it. Um, this is the Windows Server 2016. Now I'm going to show you how to assign a static IP address from our virtual machine and to our host machine. So first I'm going to click search windows at our virtual machine. And now I'm going to type CMD or the command prompt. Now I'm going to open and then I'm going to type IP config to know the current IP address of our virtual machine. Now I'm going to, to the virtual manager and select settings. Then at the general tab, I'm going to click network and click attach to and change to bridge adapter and change the name to wireless since we are using or I am using a wireless connection of internet. I'm going to click OK. Then now I'm going to the our host and type CMD. I'm going to type ipconfig again to know our current IP address of our host machine. Now, as you can see here, this is our IP address and this is our subnet and this default gate pay. Now, I'm going to right click our network connection to open the network and sharing center. Now I'm going to the left side and select Wi-Fi. Then at the right side, I will go to the change adapter options. And now I'm going to select our connection, the Wi-Fi. Go to right click, then click properties. Here it will show you our window and I'm going to select internet protocol version 4. And I'm going to click properties and now here 
going to assign our static IP address. I'm going to type ten dot zero zero then dot twenty five. Now our submit password will change to two two five five dot two five five dot two five five. And for our default gateway, I'm going to choose our default RN connection. I'm going to type 10.0.0.0.10. .0 .0 .0 uh, also to the preferred DNS server, I'm going to type also the same with the default gateway. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click Close. As you can see, our internet started. Now I'm going to the change advanced option option options and turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing. Also to the turn on sharing and turn off password protected sharing. And also to our guests and our public to turn on the network discover and file sharing. Now to our going back to the virtual machine also here I'm going to right click the connection and open network and sharing center I'm going also to the change editor settings and do the same with the virtual machine I'm going to select internet and select properties then go to the internet protocol version 4 select properties then I'm going to click use the following IP address I'm going to type our turn 10.0 then 0 then 12 and also the submit mask same with the host machine and for the default gateway also 10.0 then 10 also for the preferred DNS server 10 0 0 and 10 now I'm going to click OK then close now I'm going to back again should say or go to the change advanced sharing settings then I'm going to click private and turn on network setup and turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing and also to other options when to turn things on and I'm going to let the password protected sharing turned on since I'm going to access the host machine from our virtual machine I'm going to type IP config to check the assigned IP address. Now you can see the IP address change to 10.0.0.12 uh, to our center and I'm going to check the IP also. Now as you can see it also change to 10.0.0.25. Now I'm going to ping both machines from host machine to virtual machine type a ping and the uh, IP address of our virtual machine then that 0 that 0 that 12 and press enter as you can see here it pings the virtual machine and now I'm going to ping the host machine from our virtual machine I'm going to type ping is then 10.0.0.25 enter now as you can see here it also pinged the IP address of our host machine now I'm going to show you how to download the SAMP so first we're going to open our browser now I'm going to type google.com now at the search bar we're going to type sum next we're going to select this first 
page or web link and we're going to click and open this now here there are different versions uh, for different platforms since we're using windows i'm going to click the windows version here we can see that the application is now downloading now you can see that the installer is done completed for the download and we're going to click this our button and going to click show in folder next this one is i'm going to right click and select cut and we're going to move this to our desktop and task materials and we're going to right click and paste so we have successfully downloaded and moved our some windows installer i'm going to show you how to install a sam web server to our virtual machine since we have already copied the file of the folder now i'm just going to select the folder and right click then go to the properties then at the sharing tab i'm going to select share then the drop down i'm going to click and select everyone i'm going to click add the permission level i'm going to select read and write and I'm going to select and or click share and i'm going to click done now i'm going to click again at the event sharing now i'm going to check this share this folder Here I'm going to click permissions and check the full control and I'm going to click apply and click OK. Now I'm going to click apply and OK again and click close. Now I'm going to our virtual machine and click the file explorer. I'm going to click the network icon and check the name or our host machine here you can see the desktop uqsirag i'm going to open and see here we can see the shared folder now i'm going to click open and going to select the sub windows x64 I'm going to right click and click copy I'm going to the this piece tab and click the windows and click on the installer and I'm going to paste there the copied application now after copying I will just simply rush it and I'm going to right click and open. Now here I'm going to click run. And let's just wait until it opens. just going to click ok for this warning and here I'm going to click next here I'm going to click next again here you can see the folder you can change the folder if you want for your installation for me I want I'm going to click cancel and click next again and for language you can choose others and just going to click again again next again i'm going to uncheck this and click next now 
the sump installer is now installing and just wait for it to finish installing now I'm going to uncheck this because I will just try to start the application later I'm going to click finish I'm just going to re refresh this a little bit again our virtual machine now I'm going to our start button and open our con some control panel and let's see if this starts I'm going to click start as you can see it starts in my SQL I'm going to click start also now as you can see both of them starts server has some application installed so that's all next we are going to upload our system using the virtual box guest additions now first we are going to install it so at the top we are going to click devices then we are going to select insert guest additions cd image now we are going to our file ex explorer going to open it and we are going to click this pc now we are going to right click cd drive virtual box guest additions and open then we are going to select vbox windows additions we are going to open it also to install this now we're going to select next to continue. Here we can browse for application. But we could install this. Now we're going to click next, then we're going to click install, and we will just wait for the installation to be completed. Now we'll show you this pop-up window, and now we're going to select just installed and it will continue the installation now as you have seen that the install is already done but you need to reboot your machine for complete the installation now I'm going to click finish now it's restarting the machine is starting and let's just wait until it opens up again now here you can see that the admin is locked now I'm going to click the input uh, at the left side top and I'm going to select keyboard click insert control alt delete and I'm going to type the password now I'm going to click devices again. And then I'm going to click shared folders and select shared folder settings. Here I'm going to select plus icon the right side and we'll show this add share pop up window. I'm going to select the drop down box of the folder path and click other going to the desktop and going to select the task material since we've copied the system there now I'm going to select or check should say the make permanent and I'm 
going to click OK. Then click OK again. Now at this point, I'm going to open the file explorer again. Now I'm going to click net this PC or the should say the network VBox SVR. I'm just going to open this and double click the to the folder that is shared has the system folder. I'm going to right click and copy this. I'm going back to the this PC and to the local disk. I'm going to open the local disk and now I'm going to sump and to the HD docs. Here I'm going to delete this delete this old files from the HD docs. Now I'm going to paste our system here. And let's just wait until it completes. The files are, are done copying. Now we are going to download and install a browser which I'm going to download is Google Chrome setup and I'm going to type Google Chrome setup. I'm going to select the first page that comes up and I'm going to click download installation file now it opens another tab and here I'm going to click download chrome and now as you can see the chrome setup exe is now done downloading now I'm just look, going to locate the folder this application now I'm going to copy this to our shared folder here I'm going to paste it here at the task materials folder now we're going to open it at the virtual machine I'm going to the network again then vbox svr and open the shared folder now I'm going to copy the group Chrome setup and back to the this PC and local disk. Now here I'm going to create a new folder and name it inst installers. Now I'm going to paste the copied application here. Now I'm going to right click and open it and we are going to install to our virtual machine. We will just wait for this to load up. Now it's downloading. Let's just wait for this to be done. Now download complete and uh, the, the Chrome setup is now installing and let's just wait for it to be done. Now as you can see the Chrome has created a shortcut at our desktop. Now we have in finally installed Google Chrome browser. Next is to run and test the uploaded system to click the start button and going to select some control panel now we're going to click start the apache and the mysql
after that we're going to click the admin of my SQL and the application will show this to browsers I'm going to select Google Chrome because it is better and faster we went to the localhost PHP my admin and let's just wait for it to load to click new and we are going to click this database name we are going to create a new database I'm going to type IOT underscore security then I'm going to click create now I'm going to click IOT security at the left side I'm going to click import now I'm going to click choose file so we could browse our computer for the system file I'm going to the local disk and to the sum I'm going to, to the HD docs and we are going to look at the database click the system file to click open and I'm just going to simply scroll down the bottom and going to click go now the import has been successfully finished type our IP address of our server then dot zero dot zero dot twelve going to press enter and let's just wait to load so we can see the system now as you can see it loaded the system IoT based smart warehouse security system as you can see here our, this is our login form here I'm going to type my username or user sample at gmail.com and the password I'm going to click sign in now as you can see login successful now this is our dashboard as you can see here this is our latest motion detected and this is the detection graph the date of the motion detector sensors that activated and next to the user roles at the user roles we can edit the accessibility of each users now we're going to the search and we're going to type windows firewall at the left side we are going to click inbound rules and at the right side we're going to create a new rule here we're going to select port then we're going to click next and here at the specific local parts we're going to type 80 80 and then click next let this be the click, click next and next then name we're going to type access so accessing IP address and we're going to click finish now at the host machine we're going to open it open the IP address of our virtual machine and let's check if the system can be accessed to our using our host machine as you can see we can view the system here at our host machine and we're going to try and log in